It is written in the words of the Lord that God works in us to will and to do of His good pleasures. There are some certain feeling you may have had in you that you may think you are going the wrong way, but you don't know it is God working in you. If you want to know if the desires to be together is from God, then you have to look out for these four signs. Number 1. When you feel peace. There comes a time you develop some feelings that you may be confused if you are doing the right thing. Sometimes your desires and your thought somehow may be going towards the way you think it might be wrong for you to have such a feeling, but you do not know why it is like that. Now this is something you have to check. See if you are comfortable with such thought. Check out the ease you have in your heart whenever you feel such desire to be together with your spouse, especially when you are not legitimately married. There are some things that may be happening in you that you cannot give a good defense to, but there is a burning desire for you to do it. You ask yourself, why am I feeling this way? You know you don't have good knowledge of what it is. Your desire to be with your spouse has been burning in your heart and you want to know if it is from the Lord. Ask yourself this, am I happy feeling like this? How do I react whenever I have this feeling in me? Do you know there are some times you will want to do some things? There are some times you will have some desires in your heart, but you will not feel comfortable having that desire in you. That means that desire or thought is unacceptable by your spirit man. That means it could be wrong and might lead to a wrong end. But whenever you have the desire to be together with your spouse or anyone and you want to know if the desire is from the Lord, then ask yourself, am I having peace in me desiring this? If you are happy with that desire anytime it comes, then you will know that your spirit man accepts it and with that, you have to know that the desire is from God because there is something he wants to do at that time. Another thing you must consider again is what is going to be the result of the meeting. If I eventually be together with that person, that will always be the end. What result will it produce for you? The previous time you have been together with that person, what did you end up having? Is it good? Are you always happy? Or you end up in regret? You must know that God will never lead you into a feeling that will make you do things that are wrong. So checking this result will make you know of that desire to be together is from God or not from the Lord. In matters like this, never assume you know already or you can handle it without good consultation or events that will help you to make good decisions to know what God could do to you and what God cannot bring up in you. Number 2. When God tells you to do it. Sometimes you must not overlook certain signs that are coming your way about some things. You may have the desire to be together with that person and you want to know if it is really from the Lord. You want to know if God is the one igniting that feeling and the desires in you. You do not have to stress yourself about it. What you have to do is to go back to God and ask God some good question about the desire. Listen, this is the reason you have to keep your relationship with God with a good sense of intimacy. There are some times you may be confused about some things and you do not want to make wrong decisions about it. You have to do something about it, but you do not want to do the wrong thing. Then it is very simple. Ask God, are you the one doing this in me? Do you want me to be together with this person? You know how God speaks and communicates with you. It is only you that can tell the means with which God relates and responds to your wants. Then you wait to hear from the Lord and sometimes God may speak to you before you begin to have that desire. Then the desire will be a confirmation of what God is saying or has told you. 
then it is a sign that the desire to be together with that person is from God. And when you have gotten this fact, what you have to do is to respond to that. Because there is always a reason God will want you to go somewhere. There will always be a reason God wants you to be with someone. It could be that the person is in need that you are the one that would help out. It could be that your presence at that point in time will give hope and restore some sanity and bring normalcy to the situation that person has found themselves. The words and the signals that you have from the Lord directly will never lead you into error. It will always give you the access to solve problems and do great things. If God says go, then you have to go because it is always for a good reason. The result will always justify the action and the instructions that you have received from God if you do not fail to carry out the instructions. Number three, if your presence is golden to that person, there are some people that your presence is always a means with which they gain strength and motivation to do things that they do. Do you know that those words and those counsel you give to people any time you are with them always help to live aright and the charge you give to them will not always make them consider giving up on their dreams and their desires? If you want to know if the desire to be with someone is from the Lord, you have to know this through the benefit of your presence to that person. Do I mean anything to this person? How does this person feel any time I am with them? What value does my presence add to this person's life any time we are together? It is not just to be with someone. The value of your presence matters a lot and that is how you could measure your impact per time whenever you spend time with that person. If your presence is always good to them, then you have to know that the desires to be together with that person is from God because God knows they need you. God knows how you will help them at that point in time. So God will put that desire in you to make you consider going to be together with that person. And with that, you will strengthen and inspire them again with your presence. The blessings of your presence is what God wants you to go and give to them. The substance that comes from your life. God has made you a blessing and there are some people that will be in need of that blessings so that their life will be in the right place in time. That is the reason that desire to be with that person is strong in you. Number four, when you are building love together. Do you know that emotion in relationship does not grow if you do not spend time together with your spouse? You will not know the person that your spouse really is if you do not always be together and learn one another's perspective on life. You could know someone from afar. You may think that person whom you assume they are until you get close to them. That way, you have to consider that as a sign that the desire to be with that person is from God because God approves of that relationship then there is always a need to be together to build understanding, communication, thoughts, and plans together with that person you are in love with. You have to build that love with each other and without staying away from yourself. The future is very important to God. That purpose that made God bring you two together is the heartbeat of the Lord that is making him Put that desire in you to always have some good time with one another so that you can communicate feeling and emotions together so that you will learn about that person and the other person will learn about you and that will reduce some frictions that may want to come up later in the future. Knowing the strength and the weaknesses of your spouse will give you the advantage of build and strengthen correcting some of the things earlier in that relationship so that when it is time to get things done, it will not be the reason you will always have to feel unsettled in doing what you want to do. These and more are signs that the desire to be together with that person could be from the Lord. You do not have to take it for granted at all because God does not ignite someone in you without any good reason. God is on a move, so you have to respond to the move by obeying the instructions that is been given to you by the Lord.